Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video. And uh, just in case you're wondering, no, you're not looking at a mugshot, okay? So what are you looking at? Well, uh, one of the questions I get a lot is whether it's important for a 3D artist to be able to draw, right? I don't think you necessarily have to be able to draw. I do think it's important for you to understand the rules of drawing, specifically when it comes to uh, skill, proportion, ratio, and that kind of stuff, right? So that's what this video is about. I hear a lot of people that start out with 3D modeling a uh, character, a head specifically, or sculpting one, is that they run into issues. Um, you know, the size of the eyes, the position of the ears, and that kind of thing. So I'm gonna run through a couple of quick tips that hopefully will help you to get started on that, okay? All right, so looking at the side view of the head, um, this is basically, uh, let me just create a layer here. Okay, this is basically a sphere like so. And then if you look at the chin section, this is an additional sphere, yeah? Now, to create that initial shape for the head, you would take two spheres like that and you would extend the line from here and extend the line from here and kind of flatten that off, right? So you would have something like this for the head shape on the side. Make sense? Okay, and then you would extend it from there. And there you go. Now, the position of the eyes. If we look at the eyes here, and I draw a line right there, that's approximately halfway of our initial sphere. So if this were our sphere, and you can see here that it's kind of squished in, so it's not perfectly round, this is about half of the original sphere, and that's about half of the original sphere. So what about the bottom of the nose? Again, that is half of that space. So if this is the entire space, right? This is about half. Okay, so the eyes, half of the entire sphere, bottom of the nose, half of the bottom sphere. Okay, what else? The lips, the lips are at about one third. So looking at the remaining sphere on the bottom there, one third of that would give you the lips. Now, it's no coincidence that if you look at this, you see that the top of the, the eye line and the uh, bottom of the nose are equal to where the ears are, right? So ear aligns with the eye corner and aligns with the bottom of the nose. And then finally, looking at the position of the eyes, if you draw a line like this and like this, what you will see is if this is a space for an eye right there, and this is a space for an eye, this space is approximately equal to those. And then going to the left and right, depending on the width of the head, this can be anything from half an eye to a full eye, okay? So that will help you to have the correct size of the eyes and the correct width. Right, so just to recap, large sphere for the side of the head, add a smaller sphere for the chin, and then extend the lines here to get an initial shape, okay? Looking at the position of the eyes, halfway the entire uh, sphere, looking at the position of the bottom of the nose, again, half of the bottom sphere, and looking at the position of the mouth, about one third of the remainder of that sphere. Uh, yeah, like I said, a quick and dirty, but nevertheless, hopefully this will help you when you start modeling or sculpting, okay? Uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know in the comments if you have additional questions about this kind of stuff. I'd be happy to do more videos on these types of rules, okay? Thank you guys so much for watching and see you guys next time. Bye.